Okay, good morning YouTube. So, um, on my way to work, I thought I would do another video. So this time, we're actually going to talk about the September releases. So it's officially the end of August, um, and we're going to look forward to September. So we're going to have a look to see exactly what you can expect coming out in this upcoming month, so you know what to save your money for. Considering paydays like today or tomorrow as well, definitely going to be worth knowing. So, let's start off with the first product release of the month and that's going to be the Megatins of 2022. Now these are usually massive products, they're probably uh, either one of if not the best product of the year because it gives everyone a chance to get cards from the previous year's set, so stuff like Lightning Overdrive, um, Utopia, Sword Soul, you name it. Uh, I believe it doesn't go up to Battle of Chaos, so Everything up to that point, you're good to get. Uh, the Battle of Care stuff, you won't get. On top of that as well, it will introduce us to some brand new TCG exclusive cards, apparently. Um, along with major reprints of stuff like Lightning Storm, Nibiru, um, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. And then we get the alternate arts for Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician Girl. And if you haven't seen them yet, they kind of look... Well, I mean, the Dark Magician Girl is like the sleeves that are coming out later in the year. Um, the Blue Eyes and Red Eyes, I believe, are the manga arts. So, I think even the Dark Magician Girl might be. So, it kind of matches with the Dark Magician manga art that we got back in Battles of Chaos. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting for collectors. We still don't know if there's going to be promos. The chances are they won't be promos, quite like um, last year's tins and the tins before them, because this tin completes the stack. So for the artwork, you can put all of the tin lids together, and it completes like the uh, Millennium tablet, basically. So yeah, um, the fact that they're not promos does kind of show to me that we're not getting anything extra in the packs. So it's not like, oh, by the way, because of these, you're now gonna get two prismatic secrets or something like that, you're not. It's basically gonna be, I believe it's two ultra rares per pack. So you get three packs per tin, two ultra rares, two supers, and a secret. It might actually be three, I could be wrong. Um, so, I mean, the mega tins are always worth picking up, especially if you like any of the stuff that came out previously and you couldn't get hold of it, so something like Sword Souls, which I already discussed yesterday were, I think, will be a very good, powerful uh, anti-meta deck. Well, I say anti-meta, it kind of, as long as nothing happens to it, it'll fit right in. So that would be a cool one to get. Um, it does seem like the reprints might be diluted. So if we're gonna get Underworld of the Goddess, if we're gonna get more commonly, uh, and part of prosperity in there, you're probably looking at them going to be buried a little bit, so it'll probably be on the same levels as Access Code in the gold set, but we're not going to know that until the tins drop officially. So 15th of September is what you want to be looking for on that one, so about two weeks away, I think officially two weeks away from the 1st of September. So definitely something to be looking out for. Um, I think the retail is something like 15 pounds, 15 dollars, give or take per tin. Um, like I said, it's, it's always worth picking the tins up because the reprints are great. So I'll do more on them once we know what's exactly in them and how much more is going to be in them to kind of work it that way as well. Um, carrying on throughout the month, the second product being released in um, September is going to be the Crystal Beast Structure Decks. So they're due out on the 29th of September, so four weeks from hopefully the day that I put this video out. Um, now, the thing with this set is, uh, in the OCG I believe they got some really cool reprints. I believe they've got like Ash Blossom and stuff, but if we're gonna get Ash Blossom in the Megatins, as long as it's easy to get, and I mean, they could very easily put Prismatic Ash Blossom in this set. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it, they, it depends on how easy and how hard they are, but basically, post the Crystal Beast Structure decks, if Ash Blossom is in it, everyone should have an Ash Blossom by that point. 
In regards to competitive viability for um, the Crystal Beast, sadly, it's not on the level of um, branded structure deck, and it's probably not going to be on the level of the um, Dark World structure deck, which we get in December. So, the new cards are really cool for the Crystal Beast themselves, but it doesn't really make them like quite what they did with branded, quite like they did with Shadows, quite like they did with uh, Salamangrakes. It doesn't kind of make them highly competitively viable. Um, <clears throat> still a deck worth picking up if you're a fan of Crystal Beast, if you're a fan of the GX era. Definitely worth picking up if you are um, like interested in Crystal Beast but never had them originally. So yeah, it's something to look out for. Not really going to tilt the meta scales, but be aware that towards the end of the month, so if you're like patient and you're like, you know what, I can wait, uh, they're not going to sell out like the branded structure decks, they're not going to sell out like the Salaman Great structure decks because they had Ash Blossom in it. You can wait, pick them up on the second payday, so your October payday basically. Um, yeah, and then the other thing that we expect to happen this month is not technically a product, but it's probably going to be as big of a product because it will change the way the game's played is the banished or we hope it's going to change the way the game's played now i'll do a separate banished prediction video um because i still i mean there's a couple of cards you can pretty much go that card shouldn't be around anymore the issue is right now the we seem to always be playing catch up on a ban list now what i mean by that is in my opinion it's too early to hit um tears and sprites directly now obviously i know it's happened before i know we've had like an emergency ban list that's hit pepe i know um even before i was playing that there was a hit to one of the fire fist monsters way before uh, it even got released so but unless unless konami are really really worried about these yuhu stuff coming out in november I don't think that, like, none of the decks are going to be made unplayable. I think the best bet that you have to trying to keep the sprite and tier deck in check and then opening the meta back up without actually banning anything through either strategy is, um, like, basically bringing stuff back. Now, keep in mind in November as well, Sky Strikers get linkage which is absolutely busted um so they're gonna get a brand new card which if konami wanted to they could bring engage back to free not that i agree with that because one engage is still painful enough like engage cool uh kagari add back engage cool multi-roll reset engage cool <laughs> um so yeah that's definitely something that could happen. Whether it does or not is uh, a different story. Um, so, I mean, I suppose, especially with tears as well, it's a little bit more difficult to deal with tears because um, most of the generic cards they're using aren't really that effective. Now, obviously, the dangers you could hit, but again, with dangers, the same problem they've always had is you'd have to hit like multiple dangers to make it worthwhile like all right you take away snake <sighs> all right whatever you take away jackalope okay they've lost a little bit of consistency you hit nessie back down to one okay not the end of the world they can still recycle it i'd be amazed if they hit moth man um there's no reason to hit bigfoot so you can kind of see the dilemma that that puts it i think one card that is definitely looking like it's for the chop is fairy tale snow so yeah I, again i don't want to go too far into this because i want to do it on its own separate video and give as much um information and breakdown as i possibly can but i think it's quite difficult to do a prediction video now that isn't like copy and paste from someone else's list because they all are pretty much the same and then uh trying to actually guess what Konami are going to do whether they're going to address the current issue or because so much time's gone by and the format has shifted and changed whether they are 
Like, I can't imagine that they have a meeting a week before the banish drops and goes, okay, this is what we're going to do. Um, I could be wrong. And that's something that would be really kind of cool to find out um, exactly how the meetings happen. Um, but I can imagine it, it doesn't... I'm not sure, really. I mean, it, maybe it does need the OCG as well. Because... I mean, I don't know why, but I suppose it would need the OCG so they'll be like, these are the future products we've got planned that will affect these. But I suppose that's probably more for reprints and set printing in general, really. Um, so yeah, I'll dive into that a little bit more. It's only a separate video. Uh, pretty much gone through the product listing for this month. Then we move into October. Um, and October is where it gets pretty fun. <laughs> I say fun. Um, so a little preview of October is when we get Darkwing Blast, which gives Tier Elements more support, Sprite gets some more support, um, and then towards the end of the year, November's where it really kicks off because that's where you're going to get the Zuhu support, you're going to get Sky Striker support, you're also probably going to get um, the Battles of Legend, which as of yet we still don't know exactly what's going to be in there. We know that it's going to support the Crystal Beast Structure Deck, but um, yeah, we don't know the reprints, we don't know the level of uh, kind of cards they're gonna add into it. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time guys, as absolutely always, stay safe, and of course, happy dawning.